Hello, I'm Kyle with Rapso Farmer, and this is the channel I created for my sewing and thrifting and all sorts of cool things like that. So I also have a channel for my farm, but I want to be able to share my more creative stuff. So that's what this channel is going to be about. And as my first video, I wanted to make some new curtains for my sewing room. So we've been wanting to make new curtains for a while, but it's one of those things, oh, we don't have time, we don't have time, it's summer. But I thought since I was gonna be filming in here, new curtains and give the space a little bit of a spruce up would be nice. So over the week, we gave everything a good clean and tidy and organized, and now I'm ready to start sewing. So I was gonna take you through my projects. Each project is gonna be its own video. So make sure you subscribe so you can follow along. So these are the fabrics we picked out for the sewing room. All of these were either thrifted or garage sales or some combination thereof. I haven't bought anything at this point. So first project is going to be the curtains and that's going to be from this aqua bed sheet. I know colors are hard on camera, so bear with me. Um, and what we do is bed sheets are a couple of bucks at thrift stores and garage sales. And then we line them with just a white bed sheet so the sun doesn't fade them. So this is just plain white bed sheet. Um, this fabric, it's a garage sale find. Got an entire bag full of home decor fabrics. So this one and all of these were garage sale bag find. This one is going to be to recover the chair because we have chair. It's perfectly lovely. It's comfortable, but it's not very pretty. And then the ones up here are going to be pillows. We've got mom had bought a um, bedroom set, comforter, throw pillows, things at a garage sale, and she's not keen on using the pillows. So just going to recover the pillows and use them in here. And those are for Kitty. So Nivius can have a cozy spot to look out windows. Can you say hi to YouTube, Nivius? Can you wave? She gets upset if you stop paying her. So she has a cozy perch in my sewing room so she can hang out. Because every sewing room needs a cat. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to push buttons now. So I got my bed sheet and it's a queen sized or something like that. I haven't found the tag that says what it is and I don't care much. So I have folded it in two fourths because I need, I have two windows and I need a panel for each window. So I need to replicate two panels for each window. So we folded it into fourths and we took out the big header at the top of your bed sheet. And now we're trying to figure out which way it needs to go. So you need an extra four inches at the top and eight inches at the bottom of your sheet to do your rod pockets and your hems and all the things like that. So if you're being weird and buying fabric and it, it's an extra foot or third of a yard. I don't know why you'd buy fabric. It's just crazy. $3 bed sheet. So I can put it like this and have, so it's sheets folded into four and I can have plenty of width. There's the top of my window. The bottom of my window is there-ish and I'll have about enough quick and dirty. I could measure it. That involves work and effort. Um, and if it's not perfect spot on, I can just fudge my hems a little bit. If I wanted to be sure I had plenty of width, I'd go this way, but it, I wouldn't have enough length. So we're gonna go this way. I popped the higher hem out, so I got an extra four inches to work with, or eight, I don't know. And I ironed it flat. So now I'm going to cut it out, lay it on the floor, cut it out. The cat will probably help. And then from there, I can lay out 
my white bed sheets, which have already been hacked on, and we'll just figure out where I have enough to do what I want. I have plenty more bed sheets, so if I don't have enough on this pile, it's no big deal. So my original plan was to use the scraps I had of bed sheet to line the curtains. I didn't have enough. So plan B was going to use just one big curtain cut up like I did the front fabric. Didn't have a big enough sheet. So I found a dust ruffle and I cut off the drop part. It has this pretty scallopy edge. It also has a lot of stains on that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use that for something in the future, but I do have the middle section that would go between your mattress and box spring. And the fabric quality is not great, so using it to line curtains is perfect for it. And now I just need to figure out how I want to fold it, and if it isn't going to be big enough, which I suspect, um, then I'll use, I have a twin fitted sheet that I'll just cut the elastic off and use that. So. One of the drawbacks with repurposing fabric is sometimes you don't think you had what you did or it's not as big as you thought, but I think it's part of the fun. You get to be more creative, think a little bit harder. It's it's not just easy. Um, I can't just go to the store and buy more. I mean, I could, but I'm cheap, so that's not an option. And the closest fabric store for me is 45 minutes away. So it's kind of hard for me to run every time I need something. So I think that's a triangle. There we go, there's a corner. So, there should be enough to do two, but we will see. So, sewing the curtains is really easy. All I'm going to do is, so I have the top of the sheet, the curtain sitting in front of me. I'm going to pin right sides together along that side and that side, and I'll sew them up and basically make a tube. And then from there, I can just fold over the tops and the bombs and iron in my hems and my rod pocket. So once I got this far, I had to get a different sheet. I've lost track of how many sheets I've tried at this point. Um, my advice at this point is to use the same size sheet for backing as the front and then you know it'll fit and you won't try 47 sheets like I did. So that's why I finally did. Yes, my stripes are going to run horizontal. It's on the back. I don't care. It's the last sheet I had that would fit. So now we're just going to pin them up and get them sewed. So I got my side seams done and basically now all I have is this long tube. I turned it right side out. So this is what it's going to look like. And then I ironed the side seams so they're nice and crisp. And so I'm holding the top right now. I'm going to fold it under half inch for my hem and then fold it over four inches and that will create my rod pocket and a little ruffle detail at the top. From there, I will hang up the curtains once I get them all done and then I can see how much I have to work with to hem. So the idea is I hem them with them being a bit too long for the windows so that I can take them off and put them in different windows when I move. Um, or I may need to shorten the hem so they fit these windows. Either way, it's not that big a deal. I can be flexible, but that is my current plan.
So there's my half inch hem. Now we're just going to fold it over four inches. I'll get a tape measure in a second. And what I'll do is I'll sew it down and then halfway I'll sew it again. And the bottom portion will be my rod pocket and the top portion will be kind of a little ruffle detail up at the top. Just give it a little bit more interest without being too fancy or extra or time consuming. So I got the tops of the curtains done and we hung them up to see how they fit and I am going to have to, I have somehow come out uneven and the lining is hanging down farther than the curtain. So we're going to get them all evened up and then I'll iron them, I'll roll it up four inches and then half an inch and so that and that will be my hem and a good iron and some tie backs and curtains will be done. So the curtains themselves are done. They've been ironed. They're waiting to go up. And I'll show you the final look when I'm done. Now I'm working on tie backs. So these are really thick and heavy curtains and just trying to shove them open is going to be a little bit hard. So we thought tie backs. So I cut a three inch wide piece of fabric and then just the width of the fabric and cut that in half. So each three inch strip I cut will make a tie back. And I'll just put right sides together and sew it, turn it right side out, sew it shut, give it a good iron, and sew loops on. So these, this is the kitchen tie back. I stole just to double check a measurement, make sure I was on the right track. Um, and then you just sew plastic loops on so that you can put them on a hook. So hopefully be done shortly because I have kitty helping. Nivius! Can you say hi? She's resting. She got a new cat toy. She's very excited. Curtains are done. And I'm so happy with how they turned out. They're a little bit more challenging than I was expected. The fabric, the bed sheet is more polyester, which made it really slippery and a little harder to work with. But I am still really happy with how they turned out. And next is going to be, at the rocking chair anyway, a, we're going to recover the chair. So that'll match the curtains and these are going to be warmer in the winter because they're two layers instead of one. And they're not all sun faded and icky like the last one. So if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you did, I'd invite you to like and subscribe and share with your friends. So I can grow my channel and share even more with you.